Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can insert a chart in Word, also how you can copy and paste a chart from Excel, and then use Paste Special to automatically update the chart that is coming in from Excel. But first of all, let's have a quick look at how to insert a chart in Word itself. If I go up to the Insert tab, under illustrations, you've got charts, and that's the one I want there. Chart, and I'm going to pick a clustered column. Just double click on that, and it drops it in with a little spreadsheet, which you can actually click on to go into Excel to make this a bit more ex expansive. But for now, I'll just leave it as this. What I want to do is make it a little bit bigger, so I've got more space. Now, what, what it's looking at is what is selected here. If I select this little corner and move it across just to one series you can see the chart immediately immediately reacts to whatever I do and if I bring it back across and push it up the same sort of thing will apply so you can move this down if you want more categories so I'm going to pull it down for two extra categories and let's do some put some information in here 2018 2019 2020 2021 and then I want a total row and I want an average row because this is Excel you can do functions in this you've also got the option to go into I'll pull that down a bit more you've got the options to go into um, Excel itself to do all this let's go men women children as, as the labels now my advice is if you've got a more complicated a graph or chart to do than this is do it in Excel and do the copy and paste bit which I'm going to show you in a minute but if for a very simple chart you can just use this now the key command to do sum in Excel the auto sum key command is the alt key and equals and it works in Word as well so it's just done that for me straight away now what happens you end up if I pull that across doing the totals the total column is always going to be bigger than the rest so it does screw it skew the graph a little bit but I can live with that now I want to know what the average of these is now I'm going to type that I'm going to go equals average open the bracket the functions come up and then I can select the list that I want to look at close the bracket and just press enter and then you get the little average tipping up there and I can pull that across so those are the averages. Now, once you've finished with this little spreadsheet, you can close it. And then you've got the, the chart itself, which you can position, make it smaller. You've got these options down the right hand side. The top one is about text wrapping. So if I click on one of these options, I'll go for that one tight. Now, if I move that into this text that you've got up there, you can see what that's going to do. And then you can just change these options to suit what best fits your idea of a layout so I'm gonna go for that one leave it on that one now with all objects that you bring into Word or Excel or PowerPoint the tabs are dynamic so if I click away they disappear if I click on the graph they reappear what I want to do is format this a little bit so I've picked one of these layouts styles there's a few there look but I just want that one I then have the option of putting labels on if I click on this little plus I can do data labels that looks a bit cluttered if I do them all so maybe I'll just do it for the um, blue bars I'll click on the blue bars and then add the data labels just so I've got that focus for data labels if you right click on any of these bars you can go format data labels and then the task pane will come up where you can add some extra information so you've got a category name series name if that fits obviously too cluttered take that one off that's not too bad I can get away with that but remember a chart is there to make it more simpler to look at information rather than a big data set so I'm happy with that if you need to go back into this chart you click click on it and you've got the option there to edit data and then it brings up this little spreadsheet again and as I said before, you can click on this little symbol and it will take you into Excel and you can manipulate the whole thing in Excel. And when you close it, it just comes back into Word. 
Now I'm going to delete that one. Now to bring a chart in from Excel that you've already created, I've already got one open as a quick look at it there, this one. Let's say I want this, I'm just going to copy that, Control C. Coming back into Word and if I just do Control V, that is just a dead copy, which is what a lot of people tend to do. But it's not what I would advise. If you're going to run a report on a monthly basis and you're always copying and pasting data from various places to get into that report, I think it's important that you link it. So I'll just delete this one and I'll do link. So it's still copied. If go double check that is copied. Control C back into Word, going to paste special. Paste link is the key here, and then that Excel chart object is what I want. Okay. So that comes in and comes in in slightly different format. So we've, we're restricted a little bit in what we can do. It's a bit big, so I'm just gonna make it smaller. Now it hasn't got these icons down the right hand side. So if I just stick the other one there, if I paste it just generally there, I get these icons as you would if you did a chart in Word. But because this is now pulling information from Excel and it's a live link, this has got no icons and you can see that. However, if I change some of the figures in charting, so if I delete, for example, these three figures and then go back into Word, that has immediately picked it up. Now, the other chart looks like it's done the same sort of thing, but that's because I've got both files open at the moment. So what I'm going to do is save this just to show you that, that doesn't, this doesn't automatically update normally. So I'll just save this as charts 2022. It's going into documents. And then I will close it, Control W. So I've closed it. So I'm going to put some figures back into this table, like so. So that's now changed. And if I open Word again and open that file, open it it should ask me it contains links yes I do yes and then it should update the linked copy but as you can see it has not updated that so a lot of people get confused by that because both files was open it looked like it was doing the automatic update but it did not so this is now detached from the source this is still attached and that's why you've got these little symbols that's why you've got these so if you're clicking on a chart it's got these symbols it probably isn't a linked chart now, I'm just going to delete this one uh, what I would normally do if this is something I need to create f going forward like every month my report I would save this as a template which I'm going to do so I'm going file save as so it's down as um, charts 2022 as a document, but if I drop this little arrow down, I can select word template, save. Now that is a template. And if I close it, control W to open the template, I go file new. But before I do that, let's just change some of the data just to make sure it is still working. So I'll delete those off again. So there's no data in that last column. File, new. I've gone into personal and I'm looking for charts 2022. There she is. And that one, it's got links. Yes, I do. And then it should update the file and remove that data. So now every time I have to do a report, whether it's weekly or monthly, I know that all the data links are working. I can just open the template maybe change the narrative a little bit with dates and some other narrative that you might have to put in there but the basic structure of the report is already there and it's a few seconds as opposed to many many hours even if i've got to copy and paste data from lots of different places so that was just a quick little video on how to do a chart in word using the word chart feature how to copy and paste the chart from excel 
and how to paste link a chart from Excel and what you lose and also what you gain in terms of updating data. The last thing I went through was how to save a template in Word with a linked chart from Excel. So hopefully this little video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.